Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one Nolan, and today I'm going to be playing Dungeon Hero. Now this game used to be called Hero of the Obelisk, but it had shut down. Now it's restarting as Dungeon Heroes, which I want to actually try Hero of the Obelisk, but at the time it had shut down before I could actually get to it, so it's good that they actually started it up again, so I actually get to try it out. So we're going to get in, play for a while, and... You know, get our first impression out. So, here we go. Alright, there's only two servers, Warrior and General. We're gonna just pick one of them because the both of them are smooth. So let's create our character. Now, right off the bat, you can see it's like chibi. We got three classes in the game. Swordmaster, or Swordsman. Adventurer, which is pretty much like a rogue type character, and then there's Scholar, which is pretty much Mage. So, yeah, you have three tribes you can join. Or factions. And you can choose from male or female, so it's not gender locked. I'm gonna choose... I think I like the way Swordsman looks, but then again... Yeah, let's just go with Swordsman. Uh, what hairs do we have? Now, you can't rotate it yourself. This is like a really, really old game. So, it's it's kind of... It was kind of newish when it was released. Kind of, kind of. Did I just give myself a fro? Just run around with... A green fro. Let me see the back of that. You guys have up to 11 hairs that you guys can look around through. I'm gonna go with this one. This is the closest one we can find to me. Yep, pretty much. But that face has to go. I like how they still have some of the original face color, like outlines around the eyes. I don't think anybody tried to fix that. But I'm gonna go with this one. Why do I keep thinking that's like eye color? Guess you can't change your face eye color. But we're gonna go with the Arc Faction. And then we're just gonna put in our name and get started. Like how he just saluted me. It's like ready to go, bro. Alright, so it looks like we start out with like a shield and sword. I have learned from the game that you can use different type of weapons like the what is this? Nah nah nah. I'm I'm good. But like I was saying, I learned that the game has like Okay, hold up. <laughs> Alright, there's not even any like music or anything, so I could keep talking. But like I was saying, I had learned that the game has two different weapons for each class. I think for the swordsman you get sword and shield and and for the adventurer, you just get like a shotgun or rifle, whichever one it was, and pistols. I don't know what the scholar had, but yeah, we're just gonna play on through and it doesn't seem like there's many people around. Hmm. Like how my character just said, jump! Uh, let's go find a quest. Alright, we can auto walk to it. I did it. Also here that this game has like auto fighting. So when you're, you're inside dungeons, you could just let it fight for you, I guess? Or something close to that. Chair line. Hey, 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 talking to you. There we go. Just give me all your quests. 
Uh, is there anyone else having quests? Or did I just finish that quest? I think I just finished that quest. Alright, anybody else carrying the quest before I go in? Alright, so it seems like this is our dungeon here. Dungeon entrance. I have to actually click the place to go in. Alright, so as you can see, it's a dungeon game. Like, dungeon entrance, you know, whole dungeon crawler theme. So, I'm actually really familiar with these games because I used to play a lot of Fate. And when I mean a lot, I used to play a lot of Fate. I used to play the whole series a little, at least a little of every game. I didn't play like the newer ones a whole bunch. Okay, seems like I'm bound here. Okay, there we go. Alright, auto hunting, here it is. What do you want from me? So you can actually just have your character fight for you. See? Hands are off the keyboard. But it doesn't seem like it moves around for you. Seems like you have to move it. So that's pretty much the auto hunter. My. I think I would rather play like using my own hands. You guys come to me. And this is an action MMO, so it expects a lot of actual fun dungeon grinding. Now, it's not the best MMO in the world, it is still one of the older ones. I like how this bat just has the biggest booty in the world. Get off me, punky. Alright, he put some kind of weird skull on me. I gotta say, the game does look nice. Pretty sure the more you get into it, the better it would get, or more it has to offer. But as of now, off the first impression of it, it's actually pretty good. Can I say it's the best? Not, nah. It could use some more polishing. The controls are actually pretty simple too. When I had first saw this game, I literally thought um, Fate when I first saw it. And that's the main reason why I wanted to try it. And all you guys have some weird booties. That's all I gotta say. But it seems like we just made it to the boss room. So that's exactly where we're going. Hello? I have to click this too? Yep, you have to left click that to go in. I think I have the hiccups. Alright, so setting the fire to the pal. Uh, firewood. Let's make place to rest. Uh, I'm not even going to judge it. You know, sometimes English is pretty difficult for certain people especially if it's not your uh, first language huge boar donkey you don't look like a donkey to me sir I like how the music just got all eerie out of nowhere hey Oh, where'd you guys come from? Doesn't look like I'm losing much HP anyway. There we go. Mission complete. New email. Oh. It even has the, like, really, really old like blind picking system what do I get I got a wooden necklace so for some reason purple means uh, 
uh, week for some reason. Oh, nope. No, never mind. It's legendary. No, purple means weak for the um, enemies, not the actual, like, items. I'll take that. Which kind of throws me off, because originally it would probably be, like, green or yellow for the weak enemies. But I believe we have a necklace. B, I, they, yep, I is inventory. I picked up a few things. What's this? Random mushroom box. What are these mushrooms for? Maybe I should have looked at them before I now kept clicking them. Alright, mushrooms are just to uh, increase certain stats, it seems. What's this? Oh my. Players will be able to level up to level. F hmm. So it seems like these are just tips. That's literally what they are, are just tips. Okay. Thanks, game. I always wanted tips. For some reason, our tips are in the form of an item. Okay, noted. But, we're gonna go turn in our quest here. I keep multi-clicking her because I don't look over here to see if it's there. Like, I think right off the back we just got a, another weapon. But, we can't use it until level 4. So, it's time to grab some more quests and keep going on our adventure. We're getting a lot of gold though. So what's the currency system right now? Nope, it just looks like normal gold. Wait, do you have something else for me? Thanks. Oh, you have something else. I shall go there. God, there's two arrows. Which one should I follow? Um, looks like they're both leading to the same area, but I was told there was something in my mailbox. What's this? I cannot see that. Okay, there we go. You have entered ranking list. Uh, where's the ranking system? I'm so confused. Uh, oh, the auto hunt is here too. It seems like I can put in potions as well. So I'm going to put potions inside here and here. And apply them. Can I put my skills in there too? Yes, I can. I can revive myself too, and it seems they have it for PvP as well. Ah, interesting in a way, but I've never seen that for PvP. That seems a little bit off. I like the character models for like their little art. This way? Well, I'm gonna go this way because there's another quest over here. Ah, seems like there's another dungeon we can do. And I have to click on it. I heard a lot about this game back then. Before it shut down. Um, invisible person? Okay, there you go. Alright, ghost, give me your quest. Oh, this is what the auto hunting is for in this area. Alright. I could just sit right here and turn on auto hunting. Oh, 
Alright, so... Do they respawn? Or... Oh no, our character actually starts to move inside here. So auto hunting is mostly for this area. Alright, alright. So you could probably just go to sleep and wake back up. Oh yeah, they do respawn. But you gotta make sure you guys got enough potions because you don't want to come back to a dead character. Character, what are you doing? I guess he's just aggroing everybody up. Where'd you learn that from? Well, they ran away. But we're gonna probably stop right there on this little dungeon. Let's go back. Looks like you get quite a bit of gold too. Just like two. <laughs> quite a bit of gold. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a lot of gold. You quit throwing rocks at me, bro. All I'm trying to do here is get my quests and you're hurting me. You're literally triggering me. You guys stop throwing stuff at me. Alright, so pretty much this right here is just pretty much auto questing. So that's why the little auto hunting is there. Because they would know you would get bored of just fighting these guys countless of times over and over. You know what? I'm gonna have to kill you. You just keep doing annoying things with throwing rocks at me. Uh, we need one more ghost. But I, be I guess we can take you guys out. But as you guys can see, it's, it's really fun in a way. Depends on what kind of player you are. But if you're an older player of Hero of the Obelisk, then this game will probably still be up your alley. If you haven't played it in so in a long time, maybe. For newer players, if you're probably looking for something like this, like a dungeon crawler, then definitely give this one a try. I mean, you know, gaming's all about trying new things. So, definitely give it a try. Hey guys, come to me. I haven't died a single time, which is great for our first impression now. Oh, whoa, where'd you come from? Man, this guy is pretty tanky. Oh, never mind. There is a reticle of powerful attacks. I guess I didn't see that. Or I guess they added it in. Oh, God. This guy really needs to die. It doesn't feel like it gives you enough time to actually dodge. So as soon as you see it, you would have to be out. Alright, there we go. Apparently I didn't have auto hunting on. Alright, there we go. We actually beat that guy. Alright guys, after a little bit of farming, we're actually done with that quest. Well, two quests at that. Well, nope, never mind. I have... Oh god, why are you guys following me? Go away, evil army. But, all we have is like... Five more of these ghosts. At least we got some witch candy. We actually finished this quest so we can just go turn it in. I wonder if they leave me alone if I cross this line. Yeah, they just don't cross it. Well, this guy still abuses it and tries to fight me. Hey, no, come here, you started this. Alright, now let's talk to the ghost and turn all our quests in. Now we're level 4, sweet. That was our goal. But anywho, let's try out the other weapon, the great sword. That's the one-handed. This is the two-handed. Alright. Yeah, we got some new gear too. So let's not forget about those. 
So it seems like they do have fully custom like gears and all that. And I do a lot more damage with the great sword. It seems like it has a better hitbox than anything. So, yeah, great sword is definitely a win over the sword and shield. But that's more for defense anyway, probably. But guys, we're going to end it up here. You guys seen a little bit of gameplay and a little bit of what it has to offer. You guys can, you know, feel free to check out the game yourself. And, you know, leave a comment for me if you guys have played the game before. And tell me a little bit of the pros and cons you guys found about the game. Or why did you guys stop playing it? As for me, this this game is actually pretty decent. But like I said, is it the best? Not exactly. There's tons of more like free-ish games that were a lot better than this, like Rusty Heart, but I believe Rusty Heart was shut down, sadly. I hope it does come back. If it does come back, I'm definitely doing a revisit to that game. Or if somebody at least tries to bring it back, I would be happy. But as for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression of Dungeon Hero. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.